close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is our motivation for practice. We have to have goodwill for ourselves, goodwill for others. Because if we really have goodwill for ourselves, we want a happiness that lasts. And a happiness that oppresses other people is not going to last. So our goodwill for ourselves has to extend to other people, too. And this is a good place to put your mind, especially when the body is ill. There's a story in the canon where the Buddha was wounded. Devadatta, his evil cousin, tried to kill him. Ended up rolling a rock down the hill, hoping to crush the Buddha. Well, the rock smashed into pieces before reaching the Buddha, but one of the slivers got into his foot. And he had to pull it out and he had to lie down and rest. Mara comes up and says, Oh, you poor guy, you're moping around here. Feeling sorry for yourself, and the Buddha says, "No, I'm not moping. I'm lying down with sympathy for all beings." Which means one that he's resting for the sake of being able to teach, but two, his attitude is he has sympathy for everybody. He's not going to complain about his pain. He's going to think of all the beings in the world, hoping that they're all happy. That's a good place to put the mind. When the body's not comfortable, you can stay with thoughts of goodwill. realizing this is a good place to stay. And at the same time, you, you think about something beside your own pain. You're not sitting there complaining about it. This is all too often how we deal with pain. Instead of trying to comprehend it, we just complain about it. And complaining doesn't play any role in the path at all. There's no factor called right complaining. So there's pain. Okay, you deal with it. Remember, this is a normal part of life. When there's no pain, you try to take advantage of the fact that your way is clear for the time being. Make the most of the time that you have. So when the time comes when there is pain, okay, you know how to deal with it. It's not going to knock you over. We have that reflection. We're subject to aging, illness, and death. And the entire translation of this is aging, illness, and death are normal. So we have to make our minds normal in the face of these things. Do what we can in the case of illness to, to treat, it, treat it, and then otherwise focus on treating the mind. Because it's the suffering that the mind creates for itself. That's the suffering that really weighs it down. After all, it is the body's normal nature to get sick. It doesn't really care whether it's sick or not. It's the mind that cares. And if the mind gets worked up about this, okay, it's going to sometimes make the condition worse. So ask yourself, what would be for my true well-being? What would it be for the well-being of all the people around me? Keep those thoughts in mind, and it puts everything else into perspective. <laughs>